Good evening, hockey fans. This is Sam Campbell, VHL News Bulletin, covering the VHL draft and other stories going around the VHL, including the host of the penalty box being suspended, other players and their name changes, and collusion among our top stories. We also have an update from St. Paul, Minnesota, covering the draft with one Max Stanley. We'll get to him in a minute. On to the top news. As reported earlier this week about current name changes and other players trying to sneak under the radar within the VHL draft and the investigation ongoing, that issue with that particular player that we announced earlier in the week has been resolved. However, there have been a couple others that were uncovered, or shall I say discovered, to have tried to circumvent the system and are being dealt with. Among the names released was one boss of bosses. A player that is not in favor with the BOGs or the commissioner's office. He's being dealt with swiftly. Again, warning to all players. Try to play within the bounds of the rules and the constitution. When you try to circumvent the rules, bad things happen. In other news, there has been widespread reports and allegations of collusion and strong-arming tactics of other owners upon some of the rookie owners or newcomers within the VHL. No official statement has been produced by the commissioner's office or the BOG. However, a spokesperson for the league has said that an investigation is currently ongoing and when their findings, whatever findings they may have, they will release at a certain time and date. When that does happen, folks, we will have that information for you when it breaks. For more news on this information and more covering the VHL Draft, our very own Max Stanley. Max, what have you for us tonight? Thanks, Sam. Max Stanley, VHL News, live in front of the XL Energy Center, freezing my ass off in the bitter cold of Minnesota, St. Paul, Minnesota. Ambient air temperature is about uh, 19, 20 degrees. Nothing like the Northeast. We did get a fresh covering of snow here. Kind of slowed down traffic a little bit. Uh, thus being the VHL Season 5 draft here at the Exxon Energy Center, but uh, compared to what's going on over in New York and you guys up in Toronto, I don't know what the weather is up there, but uh, yeah, East Coast, screw you, although I'd still like to be down like Texas or Phoenix, Arizona, where it's nice and comfortably balmy 70 degrees, you lucky sons of bitches, freezing my ass off. Anyways, I'm covering the VHL draft this season, and in a little piece I'll show you here in a second, there's been a lot of news. A lot of controversy, a lot of good stories, a lot of big stories. I mean, this is the most talent deep draft we've had in VHL history. Big names such as Kilowatt, you know, the free agent Stanley Cup defending goaltender from the Columbus Blue Jackets. He hit the free agent market and he hit it with a big splash. Paralyzer, Fesno winner, Stanley Cup winner, East Western Conference champ. And last season he led the Phoenix Coyotes to a division championship and almost another Stanley Cup berth. He hit the free agent market, along with a rookie named uh, Hurley, who uh, has been a top prospect, a virtual rookie, and an unknown. He's hitting the market as well. Season 5 draft is now wrapping up. Uh, a lot of teams have been quite the movers. Some big name, big ticket players going to some big name teams. Some of the teams, such as Tampa Bay, Detroit, Boston, Carolina, making big splashes this season in the VHL draft. Also, it seems to be goaltending. Goaltending is a huge commodity right now in the VHL, and this has to be the most talent deep draft there ever has been. Among the big names that have been going like crazy in the VHL draft are Kilowatt, who was, at last time I checked, an astounding 12 million. Also, a new guy, a relative unknown, named Hurley, currently being bid on by primetime in the San Jose Sharks for 15 million, and that Darth Gunberg picking up Paralyzer for 13.5 million. We were able to catch up with Darth Forsberg. Uh, we'll roll that tape in just a second. There's been other news and information coming out of the VHL offices about the draft, and some allegations, and on a serious note, some collusion. Not a lot of things you hear about usually in the VHL draft. However, this season, uh, there's been rumors of draft tampering and collusion between several different teams. Uh, no additional information has been released yet by VHL authorities and officials. We'll keep you posted upon that developing story. Um, as I said, the league is investigating all allegations at the moment. That's, uh, that's all I have here. As far as that, the draft has been going without 
problems, major problems, that is. A lot of talent is going in the draft, a lot of big-name forwards, a lot of defensemen. It's the usual, but by far it's goaltending. Uh, from this particular reporter's point of view, goaltending seems to be a hot commodity ever since Tudala and a couple other big-name rookies and some seasoned veterans such as CJ, Nash, uh, the set of hope have been lighting the lamp. A lot of teams are starting to build from the net out instead of going offense with offense. Um, among of which, the Carolina Hurricanes. They shocked the VHL world when they came out day one of the draft and put 13.5 on Paralyzer. Darth Forsberg's trying to make a statement. He's got two dollars in Tampa Bay in his division. And they are powerful. They're the defending Eastern Conference champions. It'll be interesting how the season unfolds. We'll have more stories on this as we keep you covered on the VHL Draft. Max Stanley, VHL News. I'm sitting here at the Carolina Hurricanes practice facility where I just got to watch the Carolina Hurricanes with new draft prospects that they just picked up in the free agent market in Season 5 draft conduct their first team practice. Among the new additions is Falcon 2009, an unknown named player named DK Don Cherry, a relative rookie, and also a seasoned veteran that slipped under the draft, Gabrick 10. They seem to work pretty well with the veteran leadership they already have on this team, including Compromise, Virillion, Headhunter, and the jokester himself, Deadhead 10. Big Tuck was not available for comment, However, we did run into one Darth Forsberg after the practice. From the Carolina Hurricanes practice facility, back to you in the studio. We'll go ahead and roll the tape. Alright, Tuck. Yeah. Hey, Tuck. 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 Hey
the show. Um, I do want to apologize for that, and I will be working hard not to let that happen again. Also, um, my lawyers have instructed me that um, I have to be on the kinder side of things, if you know what I mean. I'm still going to be straight to the point and go straight for the jugular, and I'm going to call out the, the, the bad apples, so to speak. It's just the way the show goes. But I do want to apologize to my fans, the fan faithful. Thank you for your support. We've got nothing but good messages from you guys. And we're going to be back and strong. And don't forget, tonight, uh, VHL Tonight, the radio show, returns. I'm going to be with Dark Cloud Donnie, otherwise known as The Bus Driver, Captain Interruption, and also with the one and the only Teach. I believe Haji is out on medical leave. Uh, I do wish him the best of luck. He had surgery on his leg. Um... Hope everything's okay with him. But we're going to keep you up to date with uh, what's going on in the VHL. I know the, the draft is just about over. I just got out of the offices with the VHL commissioner and officials. And let's just put it this way. You don't want to miss the next episode of the Penalty Box. I'm going to be sitting down and having a one-on-one -on -one interview with none other than Orbital from the Carolina Hurricanes. He's working with that Darth Goon. In other news around the VHL... Long-time special guest on the VHL's Penalty Box with Kalal Oakman, one Sergei Gunchenkov, former Soviet national team defenseman and current Russian television host, has gone missing. Sources in Mother Russia have said they have no idea where Sergei has gone, and they suspect foul play with his brother Ivan, a raging alcoholic who's addicted to both gypsy women and vodka. We'll have more news on the whereabouts of one Sergei Gunchenkov. However, it is this commentator's opinion that I'm thinking he took a ticket back to the Americas to take a new job within VHL television. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. We'll be right back after this break. Don't go away. Sergei Gunchenkov, who cares? Probably blowing up another television station. We keep you covered. Like the Neutral Zone Trap on VHL News. When news breaks, you'll hear it here first. Don't go away. Thank you for watching. I'm Sam Campbell for Max Stanley and everybody else in the field. Go out there and hit somebody. Good night.